Okay, so today we're talking about uh, one of the most important things when it comes to hitting, and that's getting into a good hitting position on time. So uh, the reason I wanna make this video, really two reasons. One, it's a huge issue. Two, Maddie's been playing in a bunch of games lately. Last night um, was really late on the ball, right? So you felt like you were getting good swings off, but you weren't hitting them, correct? So you were swinging when the ball was in the mitt, or he was fouling balls back, and he was, couldn't really figure out what was going on. Um, I was watching from the outfield and could see that he was never in a good hitting position on time. What happens a lot with young kids... I like this. And then the second the ball came out, it was like getting close, and I just... <laughs> exactly. Go as quick as I could. Exactly. So, I don't know if you heard him right there. He said that he felt like he was standing like this, and then when the ball came out, he had to try to go as quick as he could, and he couldn't get there. Um, one thing that young players do is they wait until the ball is released by the pitcher to get themselves ready to hit. Depending on the age and the distance and how hard the pitcher throws, right? If the pitcher is throwing really slow, well then, yeah, you've got more time. But he's faced some pitchers lately that throw the ball pretty fast, correct? And so they're playing from a really short distance, right? He's only seven years old. And he doesn't have time to see the ball thrown and then to get ready and then to swing. By that point, the ball's in the mitt. And so what young players have to learn how to do is they need to learn to time up the, the pitcher's arm and not just time up the ball as it's coming out of the hand. So again, I have to get myself ready to hit as the pitcher's arm starts to swing. And that's really dependent on, again, how uh, each hitter's different. And so depending on what your stance looks like, the further away your stance is to that position of ready to hit, and by ready to hit, all we talk about to keep it super simple for today, we've made a bunch of other videos, is I need to have my lower body coiled, so my right leg as a right-handed hitter has got to be loaded back, just think about taking your back pocket to the pitcher, and then my upper body has to be coiled and pulled back. So I should have my rear arm behind my hands, I should have the knob somewhere towards the catcher's feet, and I should have my upper body slightly coiled. So this position right there. So from this position, it's right there. You've got to get to that spot so that when you want to swing, you can from there. So Maddie, show us real quick what your stances look like. So this is, we're going to give you some tips today on how to, how to get to that position, right? And so one thing that he falls into, one trap that he falls into, is sometimes, especially last night, show how you were standing there in your stance. Exactly, so he's standing just like this, right? So he's like this. And the pitcher goes into their windup, and he does nothing, and then all of a sudden the ball is released, and then you try to do what from there? Show me. So you try to go from there, Right, so he goes from here, now he's got to try to get into that good hitting position. And so this is a long ways away from this. So you have to do one of two things. One, you have to start the loading process earlier. So again, look at me for a sec. Okay, so why don't you stand right there actually, I'll stand here. So get in your stance real quick. Good. So let's say I'm the pitcher. Now. The pitcher's throwing from the stretch, let's say, right? Now, you can't wait until the ball is released to move, right? Because I do that when the ball, I see the ball come out of his hand, I try to get my wind up, but the ball's in his mitt when I swing. Exactly. So what would you do for an adjustment? So watch, get in your stance. So I'm going to come set. As I lift my leg and I start to break here, you're going to start to get back and ready to hit, right? So we're timing up the arm. We're not just timing up the ball, okay? And again, every hitter's different. So some hitters, again, if it takes them a long time to get ready, if, if their stance is something like this, it's gonna take longer, they've gotta get started earlier. If they are already kinda maybe a little bit wider, a little bit what I would call basically presetting the load, so they're in more of this position, well, that's less to do. So they don't have to go as early. So your job in the on-deck circle is to time that up. Right, so in the on-deck circle, I'm, I'm dancing with the pitcher. I'm trying to get to that spot. And then when you get to hit, you're trying to use what you did in the on-deck circle 
in the batter's box. But then you have to make adjustments. So Matty, if you're late, if you notice that you're fouling the ball back, that you're swinging when the ball's in the catcher's mitt, what does that mean? Do you have to get ready earlier or later? Earlier. Earlier, right. So you either have to get loaded earlier or what else can you do? What was the tip I gave you last night? What did I talk about in your stance? There, so now, instead of just standing how you were last night, show me how you're standing last night. Yeah, like this, right? Now, spread your feet a little bit. Now, get ready to hit. Get ready to hit. Okay, so now, this would be more presetting the load. So this is a closer position to where you're finally gonna get to. Again, I call it getting to your spot. So let's work on that right now. Let's start, let's just cheat a little bit and let's get into position to hit earlier. So instead of being like this and then having to do a whole lot, let's spread our feet just a tiny bit. Let's get our hands back, pulled back and coiled just a little bit. And now from there, all you gotta do is less, right? Boom, and you're ready to hit. So now your timing will be better. Again, so this is one, one adjustment you can make as a, a younger player. Let's try a couple. <laughs> well, yeah, <laughs> yeah. well, we got to hit the ball first to do that. So let's try a couple. Let's try presetting the load first, and let's see how that works. So we're going to preset a little bit. So you're going to get ready to hit. Yes, good. I like that right there. Do that again. Spread your feet a little bit. Get pulled back a little, ready to hit. Better swing. Do that again. Ready to hit. Yeah, that one you're actually early on. Do it again. Spread your feet a little, pull back, get ready to hit. Uh-huh. Again, spread your feet a little, pull back, ready to hit. Again. Mm-hmm. Couple more. So now your feet are spread a little bit. You're pulled back in court a little bit. Now remember, don't wait for the ball to come out before you start to move. Start to get yourself that little bit of coil and pick up your foot as my arm is doing this. So just a little bit earlier. I'd rather you be a little bit early than late. If you're late, what happens? You swing and miss. Well, you either swing and miss because the ball's in the mitt or you usually foul the ball back, exactly. There we go. If you're a little early, you got a chance. Here we go, pull back, ready? Again, that wasn't bad, do it again. Dance with my arm, ready? Ready to hit? Late. Yep, you waited too long. Get back, ready to hit. Now, better, do that again. Ready? Spread your feet a little bit. Now, whoa, that's a homer. Good, spread your feet a little bit. Now. Much better. Do it again. Spread your feet a little bit. Now. Mm -hmm. Two more. Now. One more. Spread your feet a little bit. Now. Okay, hold on a second. So, for me, right, if I'm watching him, that would be my adjustment for you. Does that make sense? So if you're late being here at seven years old, the easy adjustment is get closer to the final position that I want to be into. So instead of here, it's spread my feet a little bit. It's pull back a little bit. So I'm presetting my load. And now all I have to do is this and I'm there instead of this. That's a lot to do for a young player, right? Now I'm not a proponent. Sometimes what people think is spread out, be like this and just go. No, you still have to get to that coiled position and pull back and coiled upper body. So it's not just spreading your feet and just being like this and doing this. You've gotta be here. You still gotta get there. You still gotta get loaded, right? So maybe, oh, we are gonna keep hitting, but maybe let's do this. So tomorrow night, right? Come here for a sec. Tomorrow night, you got another game, right? No, the night after tomorrow night, on Saturday night. No, you got a game Friday night. No, I don't. 
Yes, you do. You have a game Friday night and Saturday night. No, but it's... Well, you're seven and I'm Sat old. It's Saturday morning. It, it, it's Friday night and Saturday morning. Sorry. Okay. But you have a game Friday night. Come here for a sec. So you have a game Friday night. So Friday night. Ready? Here's your adjustment. And by the way, last night, I don't know if this is good or bad. I just let him hit. And I was sitting out there watching him. And he's late, late, late. I didn't say anything. Waited until the game was over. And now we're going to make our, make our adjustments. So what are you going to do tomorrow night? Show me. Show me your setup right there. Come right over here. Show me your setup. Boom. Do it again. Show me your setup. Okay. Boom. Yeah, so there. That's your position. Now you're closer to that spot position where you got to get to. All you got to do now is little coil, pick up your foot, whack. You'll be on time. Would you rather be early or late? Early. Rather be a little bit early than a little bit late, right? Okay. Hopefully that helps you out. Again, he's seven. I try not to go too crazy with him, but he also doesn't like being late, 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 like he was last night. And he falls into that trap sometimes where he just kind of gets into this position where he has so far to go and he just can't get there. Not against, you know, when he's facing a nine-year-old pitcher as a seven-year-old, he's got to be ready earlier. So hopefully that helps you out. Let me know if you have any questions. He wants to move on to pitching now. So subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, give it a thumbs up, all that good stuff. We'll talk to you later. If you've got hitters that you're looking to improve before the start of next season, this is essential for you. Matt Antonelli here, former major league player, first round pick, and college coach. With this course, we're gonna show you exactly, step by step, how to generate power, develop bat speed, and enhance swing mechanics. Regardless of your hitter's age, this course is going to deliver advanced hitting techniques that will allow any hitter to get better and make an impact at the plate this spring. We have a full catalog of training content that you can access from anywhere at any time. This course is perfect for players, parents, coaches, instructors, and more. It offers a comprehensive package of drills and techniques that you can directly implement. Our course has helped hitters all over the country at different competition levels, and the feedback that we've received has been outstanding. The work you put in now will drive your success at the plate this spring. Get the essential knowledge that you need to take your game to the next level.